morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Thursday, January 11th. I'm Christy Matino. We start off this morning with Hunter Biden, who walked out of a House committee hearing yesterday. Excuse me, Hunter. Apparently you're afraid of my words. Whoa. Uh, here we go. But the White House isn't sharing any insight into President Biden's knowledge or role in his son's continued defiance of a congressional subpoena. Our Houston Willis tells us more from yesterday's press briefing. The White House was asked about a familiar topic today, Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden on Capitol Hill today. How big of a headache is that for you? <laughs> Hunter Biden is a private citizen. He is not a member of the White House, as you know, and I just don't have anything else to share. But the last time he was on the Hill, he said the president was certainly familiar with what his son was going to say. I did say that. And here, so and what I'm saying today, that President Biden does not help him with his business deals, but he does help him skirt congressional subpoenas. That is not even true. That That is a jump that is, that is incredibly disappointing. I will say to you, I am helping you out. Knew. I'm helping you out. I don't have anything else to share. His father, Joe Biden, has now launched his 2024 re-election campaign in earnest and will hope to be asked about Hunter Biden less often going forward. I'm Haston Willis with the Washington Examiner. And former President Donald Trump says he is not worried about former United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley gaining momentum in New Hampshire. That's after former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie dropped out of the race for the White House on Wednesday. Ahead of that announcement, Christie was caught on a hot mic, apparently criticizing his former opponents during his campaign's live stream. At one point, he appeared to reference Haley. She's going to get smoked, and you and I both know it. She's not up to this. Trump called that moment a bigger story than the fact that Christie bowed out of the race. The bigger story wasn't the fact that he dropped out. Nobody cared too much about that. But he happened to say that she doesn't have what it takes. She'll be creamed in the in the election. And I mean, I know her very well, and I happen to believe that Chris Christie is right. That's one of the few things he's been right about, actually. <laughs> And if lies was on your debate bingo card, you were in luck last night during the first Republican primary debate of 2024. You can go to DeSantisLies.com and look at all of those. There's at least two dozen lies that he's told about me, and you can see where fact checkers say exactly what's going to happen. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis encouraged the audience to instead visit his own website to find a video of what he described as Haley's own lies. And she'll say, you're lying, you're lying. That means not only did she say it, but she's on videotape saying it. And so we have all the greatest hits. This was the final debate before the GOP's opening nominating contest in Iowa next week. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow online and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines trending in politics.